Hello guys, welcome back to Mufatsu Cat with AutoCAD 3D Modeling Practical Exercise number 28 and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel to help us uh, growing up in this uh, tutorial I will create a 3D barrel you can see the image here and you can get this reference image from our site mufatsuket.com okay we start now open your AutoCAD software and I will use uh, front view we create line start from this point with uh, 110 okay zoom extend we create our RC start from uh, this point with end point at uh, this point radius uh, 250 enter I will select uh, this line object and delete Use a copy command to copy this object into right here. Three points. And we create line start from this point to here. And then start from uh, this point to here. <coughs> Next, uh, I will copy this uh, object into here and we create line start from this point to here <coughs> copy again this uh, line object into bottom about 5 copy this uh, two line to the bottom 7 and uh, 32 enter to finish Next, uh, we copy this uh, RC into right here about one point and enter. Okay, I will copy this uh, all object into this point and use uh, trim command to cut this line object. Okay, we we'll cut this line object and we cut uh, this uh, RC and in okay use a join command to join uh, this all object uh, into polyline okay already changed into polyline and i will copy this uh, three object start from this point to enter i will uh, copy this uh, line object to the bottom one point and one point five select uh, this uh, six line object and copy to the bottom uh, two point okay I will uh, select uh, this uh, line object and delete use uh, trim command to cut uh, this uh, object this object uh, this uh, line this uh, object okay in here this uh, line object and I will cut uh, in here and cut uh, this line object use uh, join command to join uh, this uh, all object and move uh, this uh, object start from this point to here okay <coughs> we create line start from this point to the left uh, 35 and I will move uh, this uh, object to the right here we create line start from this point to the left uh, 38 and go to the bottom red line again start from this point to here and start from this point to this point okay i will convert uh, this object into 3d model by using a revolve command you can tap a uh, revolve select uh, this object start from this point to the, the bottom here with a uh, 360 degree Okay, next I will revolve again this uh, object. <coughs> Start from this point to right here 
with uh, 360 degree use uh, copy command to copy this uh, object start from this point to uh, here <coughs> to here and less uh, to here okay I will select uh, this object and delete we change into top view and I will create line start from this point to the top with a copy command we copy this line object to the right uh, 0 0.2 to the left uh, 0 0.2 enter enter again to finish I will select uh, this line and delete use uh, array command we array uh, this uh, object to line object just uh, polar okay for center point I will select uh, this point and change items into 16 close array use a slash command I will slash uh, this object start from this point to here ok and slash again this uh, object start from uh, this point to here enter again <coughs> you can select uh, this uh, three object and delete we array again select uh, this object just uh, polar start from the center point with uh, items uh, 16 ok and close array and we create uh, this uh, 3d model you can change into realistic view to view ok create uh, this uh, 3d model and I will change into 3d wireframe we create a uh, helix start from this center point to this point and to this point with uh, turns 1.01 ok and hack uh, 0 we create a helix again start from this point <coughs> to here and here turn 1.01 ok and hack uh, 0 ok next the last uh, helix uh, object here and here with uh, turn 1.01 and hack uh, 0 ok I will sweep this uh, object with uh, this uh, helix we sweep uh, again this uh, object uh, with uh, this helix and then the last uh, we sweep uh, this object with uh, this helix ok next I will create a circle start from uh, this point with uh, radius about 38 and extrude the last object to the bottom about 5 move uh, the last object from here to the bottom 5 point and enter ok we move uh, this uh, all object start from uh, the center point and then move into this point change into realistic view I will select uh, this uh, object right click uh, isolate and hide objects select uh, this object we scale start from the center point with uh, 0 0.98 enter we scale again this object start from uh, this point with uh, 0 0.98 and the last uh, we scale this uh, object start from uh, this uh, point with uh, 0 0.98 and enter change uh, into front view 
and change into 2D wireframe I will uh, move uh, this object 6 uh, object to the left here ok and then so right click uh, isolate uh, and object isolation this uh, mirror command I will uh, mirror uh, this uh, object here and uh, this uh, object ok start from uh, this uh, middle point to the right here and ok you can change into realistic view to view the object ok next uh, I will apply material into this uh, object you can tap uh, Airmat to open material browser right click in global material and duplicate give names about wood click uh, this material twice <coughs> and I will use uh, image uh, I will use uh, this image uh, for a texture open select uh, this object I will export uh, first and then you can select uh, this uh, all object right click in uh, wood material and assign to selection ok I will edit the uh, texture sample size here about uh, 140 and rotation 90 degree you can close I will uh, duplicate uh, this uh, material and select uh, this object and then uh, this object ok right click and assign to selection click uh, image to waste we uh, change uh, sample scale says 70 and we create uh, this uh, texture uh, into this uh, object close and close we create uh, another material duplicate ok I will give name about uh, metal click uh, this material twice use uh, image I will uh, use uh, this uh, texture open and you can select uh, this uh, object ok select uh, this object uh, one by one right click in metal material assign to selection use uh, sample size uh, 70 and rotation 90 ok close and the last I will select uh, this uh, object ok you can select uh, this uh, object one uh, by one and we will apply metal uh, material into this uh, object ok we already select uh, this uh, object and then uh, select uh, from uh, Autodex library metal is uh, steel I will use uh, this uh, material right click and assign to selection ok change uh, into top view I will uh, rotate uh, this uh, object start from this point to here and you can tap airmat to open material browser I will uh, duplicate uh, this wood uh, material duplicate uh, one two three and uh, four okay for wood two I will still apply at uh, this object right click assign to selection I will uh, change uh, sample size uh, for uh, wood two here about uh, 130 okay and I will apply into this object uh, wood uh, number three assign to selection and then uh, change uh, scale size uh, number 3 with number 3 into 150 
Okay, I will select uh, this object, apply with number 4, and change uh, scale sample size about 155. <coughs> Less, uh, I will uh, select uh, this uh, object, apply with uh, number 5, same to selection, and change uh, scale size about uh, 170 and okay close close and close change into top view and we create a plan shift plan shift start from this point to here change into 2d wireframe and change uh, into front view move uh, this plan shift to the bottom here and so I will uh, rotate this uh, all object start from uh, this point you can tap C to copy and uh, move into this point I will select uh, this uh, all object and tap uh, group change into group move uh, this uh, group object uh, to the top here ok change into top view and uh, rotate this uh, group object from the center point to here move uh, this object to here ok I will use a uh, camera from here to this point with the lens uh, 60 exit and change into camera one view change into realistic ok you can orbit uh, to get uh, the best view for uh, rendering uh, this uh, model ok active uh, full shadow and choose a uh, high render I will active uh, environment and change uh, background into solid colors change into white okay okay and exposure 9 close and then uh, we will try to render uh, this uh, object you can uh, click here to render waiting for interlocking and we waiting for uh, rendering process uh, until finish it's about 10 level okay we finish the rendering process and i think it's enough today for autocad 3d modeling practice exercise number 28 if you have any question about this uh, tutorial you can comment below this video and see you next time in autocad 3d modeling practice exercise number 29 <music>